Um, in this section of the module, we're going to explore uh, circles, and we're going to look at uh, diameters and radi radii, that's the plural of radius, uh, and circumference. And all of these are linear measures or measurements of length. So first we need to review the parts of a circle. Some key terms that we should know are outlined here, and I'm going to define what they are um, by demonstrating where they would be situated on a diagram. So center is the middle of a circle, so that's right here. There's only one center in a circle. Diameter is the distance from one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle going through the center. And there's more than one diameter in a circle. The one on the screen is one of them. This is also another one. You see how it goes from one edge to the other, but it still goes through the center. This is another diameter, this is another diameter, and so on. Now, if you have a line that goes from one edge to another edge, but not through the center, this is not a diameter. This actually has another name in geometry. It's called a chord, but we're not going to talk about chords in this course. Okay. A radius is half a diameter, so it extends from the center of a circle to the edge of the circle. And there's more than one radius in a circle. The pink one is one of them. This is another one. This is another one. It's another one, and of course, they're all equal to one another. So if the radius here was three, all of these would be three. So again, the radius is half the diameter, and we can even write that as an equation. So if we have the, the, the diameter and we want to know the radius, we just divide the diameter by two and we get the radius. If we have the radius and we want the diameter, we just multiply it by two and we get the diameter. This is probably something that you want to write in your notes. The next key word is circumference. A circumference is basically the perimeter of a circle. It's the distance around the circle, just the border, okay? And this is a linear measure because we said it is one dimensional. The next, uh, the next one is probably one that you've heard quite a few times. It's pi, and this is the letter that we use to represent pi. It looks like this. And what pi is, pi is actually a ratio. Pi is a fraction. If you take the circumference of any circle, let's say the circumference is C, and you divide it by the diameter, the answer is always going to be pi. Now, pi is a number. It's what we call an irrational number. It's a number that has, de that has decimals that don't stop, right? They just keep going. And it's 3.1415 dot, 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 dot. Okay? Now, if we wanted to... Um, uh, truncate it or make it shorter for simplicity, we can say it's around 3.14, okay, around that. If you're estimating, you can say it's approximately 3. So any, any question that asks you to estimate the circumference of a circle or the diameter of a circle, you can just say that pi is around 3. And make sure that you use this symbol for approximately, okay? And Pi basically works for any any circle. So if I have a tiny circle like this or a big circle like that, if I take this circumference divided by the diameter, I would get about three. If I took this circumference and divided it by the diameter, I would get about three. And feel free to test this yourself, okay? Now, in this course, we will not be using pi equals 3.14, no. We're actually going to use the full pi, the actual accurate number. So that is the pi button on your calculator. So whenever you're calculating circumference and later on in the next modules area of a circle, you have to use the pi button on your calculator and not pi equals 3.14. That way we can get exact answers. You'll find the pi button in all scientific calculators. If you need help finding it, just ask a teacher. The last key term that I'm going to go over is semicircle. So the word semi here means half. So semicircle means half a circle, as demonstrated here. We can have two types of semicircles. We can have a semicircle like this that is closed, or we can have a semicircle arc that is not closed. And later on, when we talk about circumference, we'll look at how we can determine the circumference of a semicircle like this or like this. But for now, just be familiar with the term that semicircle means half a circle.